everybody, Brandcoin here for another episode of Brandcoin Mining and today I'm so excited that we get to take a look, uh, updated look at the AmpMiner E3 190 mega hash model and we'll also be taking a look at my ASIC mining uh, center farm that will be uh, undergoing quite a few changes which we'll be discussing throughout the video. And if you haven't already subscribed to Brandcoin, please do so right away. We really appreciate your support here and hit that like button and notification bell to get all the latest news uh, from Brandcoin here. And without any further ado, let's take a look at it. So here we have our 190 mega hash ant miner E3 by Bitmain mining away uh, on Ethereum. And I had actually 10 of these miners and they were a very significant portion of my mining farm and my revenue, my monthly revenue. But um, they basically have only four gigabytes of RAM memory inside and the Ethereum DAG size was about to surpass four gigabytes, basically rendering them useless. So before, right before this happened in November and at the very, very beginning of December, right before the DAG changed, I finished selling all 10 of them. And uh, I'm very happy I did so uh, as they won't be able to mine Ethereum Classic anymore. Ethereum Classic uh, shifted their algorithm and uh, Ethereum did surpass the 4 gigabyte DAG. Apparently, some people have them possibly mining Ethereum still to this day. Uh, but at a very reduced hash rate. Um, I'm not sure if this is true, though. I haven't really seen many reports of this. So just very curious if anyone else has any of these miners uh, and they have them still running on regular Ethereum at a reduced hash rate. Please let me know in the comments section down below. I'll be very interested to find out. I never heard back from any of the uh, people I sold these miners to. Uh, just curious if they ever got them running again on Ethereum uh, after the DAG size changed. Um, and, you know, I always want to know what would have happened, how much, uh, what hash rate they're doing, if they're working. Uh, I always like to look at the flip side uh, and see if I really made the correct decision on selling them out. So, I mean, what a, it was an incredible miner. I've had most of them for years and they definitely made me their money back. But, um, I mean, it's, it's a shame that uh, uh, Bitmain won't support them and figure out a way to add more RAM or uh, change them so they'd operate again. So this is a quick sneak peek at my ASIC mining farm uh, location. And basically, this has been completely changed around. All the AntMiner E3s are gone and all the AntMiner uh, Z9 minis uh, are actually gone and and those are in the back corner we'll take a quick look at those here and uh, we made quite a few other changes and I'll be showing you what I've replaced all these miners with uh, and we'll be discussing that uh, very shortly soon in upcoming videos as this this clip is a little outdated but it's important to see what it was before and now we're gonna go uh, in future videos we're gonna check out what it is currently in the present time Thanks for watching Brandcoin today, everybody. And uh, please hit that subscribe button if you didn't at the beginning of the video. And we'll see you all soon in the next episode.